Hi guys, Billy back and this time we have a face-off between AC Play's Catwoman and Superman Toys Catwoman. We've got the Right Honourable Judge Batman behind them presiding over proceedings who's going to be watching and listening to all the evidence of the case so that we can better understand which figure is better. Okay, let's get on and do this. As you can see, there is quite a few differences between both figures. When they're standing right next to each other, it's quite obvious. We can see different head sculpts. We can see different stitching in the suit, mildly different corset. We can also see different boots and different accessories, different hands. And even though they both, they're both Catwoman and they both look like Catwoman, there is a lot of differences. So we're gonna go into detail about what those differences actually are. Here we go. Okay, head sculpts wise, we can see there is a significant difference between the two. In the first one, we see Play's version, the skin, is actually a lot more flesh toned rather than milky. The damage on the eye above the right eye is slightly less. The stitching on the head here is a slightly less white and it's more finely painted. It's not as strong and as prevalent as on the Super Mad Toys figure. However, it does have a more expressive face. She seems to have a mild sort of cat-like scowl with a mild grin on her face. Quite a mischievous little cat this one and obviously she's got slightly less sharp ears shall we say and I believe her lips are a little darker red than the uh, super mad offering but they both got blue eyes obviously that's you know if they, she had green eyes they'd both be in trouble i would both be slagging them off quite badly but as we come down we can see on super mad toys the stitching is a little thicker a little whiter, so I'm going to try and put a shadow over her because of the lights reflecting off her face so much. The ears are slightly more sharp and pointed, stitching's a little thick around there. The eye mask here is actually a little more prevalent than on the AC Plays version. The skin is far more milky, the nose is a lot thinner and pointier, and the lips are slightly redder. But that could just be because the milky skin underneath really helps to make the, the lipstick on the milky skin just pop a little bit more. If I had to choose one of the head sculpts right now, I'm gonna go with AC Plays. It's just more expressive and it just looks a little more like Michelle Pfeiffer. Super Mad Toys version just looks very dull-like and uh, doesn't look like Michelle Pfeiffer. Like I said, it looks like Scarlet Witch to me in a Catwoman costume, if that makes sense. Okay, if we come down to the suits. Suit up! Suit up! You suited up! Suits are a little different. They're um, both a kind of PVC, I think. There might even be the same material if I'm honest. They're both shiny, they're both really well stitched. There seems to be a stitching down here by the chest area for AC Plays Catwoman, which means that the armpit stitching goes further up into the armpit on this one than it does on this one here. However, it doesn't hinder the articulation too much on Super Mad Toys. So they win in that category. Stitching on the suits. Obviously Super Mad Toys is going to win here because there are lots of crisscrosses and mismatch stitching all the way along this suit. Sadly this suit here just has this zigzag and I've pointed that out in my last video. Just has zigzag stitching all the way through. There's no miss stitching, there's no inaccuracies. It looks like it was stitched on a machine rather than being hand stitched like it was in the movie which is a real shame because there's a lot to like about the AC Plays version over Super Mad Toys, but Super Mad Toys wins for movie accuracy overall. Of course it's... It's too tight. Sebastian. Please hold on a little longer, sir. You can do it. Oh, that's it. You're going to kill me! I doubt any woman has ever been killed by a corset alone. Now the corset's quite interesting because both hinder articulation a little bit. However, this one is a little bit stiffer than Super Mad Toys one. See, I can do that a little bit easier. Not by a lot, but a little bit more easy. And it seems to work a little bit better. So again, because of the stitching, I think Super Mad Toys wins in this instance. But it is a little bit more misstitched than this corset here. As you can see, this has uh, some fine stitching all the way on the inside, whereas this appears to just be patterned, like a sort of matte pattern, maybe even a satin pattern, so that it, it contrasts with the uh, gloss of the actual outside of the corset, whereas this one actually has stitching all the way through. I'm not sure which one I like more. I think Super Mad Toys one is more movie accurate with the stitching, so I think, yeah, 
overall two mad toys is going to win this okay if we move down if we move down to the boots there is a real difference here as you can see ac plays are like plastic sort of boots there's no articulation in the ankles and they're quite well fixed there's no painting in there there's no detail it's literally just stuck on the bottom of her it feels like they never finished them and it just feels like they managed to get these boots and stick them on her rather than actually going the full hog and getting them redone whereas super mad toys have actually gone the extra distance with the boots and the real pleather sort of pvc whatever they are boots with a little heel stuck on the back and they look fantastic super mad toys wins by a mile by a mile with these boots mm -hmm. oh my god oh my god no must I best okay in terms of accessories ac plays version only comes with one whip and six hands two of them are already on the figure one is a right gripping hand she also comes with a left gripping hand she comes with two open claw hands and a more open more relaxed sort of cat like pose hand they didn't bother to paint anything onto these they just seem to be they seem to have concentrated on getting the pvc pleather attached to these hands but a nice touch is that they all come with wrist pegs already inserted but there's no silver paint on the ends to highlight the nails it also comes with one whip it has a plastic handle that's a little bit bent on my i don't know if that was with all of them and a slightly pvc sort of pleather like rope all the way down it's quite fine tip barbed tip now i believe this is just like some thread it has some uh, pvc paint or something covered over it not 100 percent certain what it is but it's quite simple and there's no wires in it it's just a normal loose malleable whip on the other hand, Super Mad Toys does not come with PVC leather on the hands themselves. That's separate, that's attached to the suit. But it comes with two claw-like hands, scratching hands we might call them. A relaxed open hand for the right hand side and the left hand side. A slightly more grippier sort of taser holding hand. And she comes with another two hands. One with a whip holding hand for the right and an open hand for the left. Now, the whip holding hand, there's only one. So you can, she can only hold it in her right hand. So that's a bit of a letdown, if I'm honest. But then if you've got her holding the whip, you're probably going to do it in the right hand because she was right-handed anyway. She also comes with another whip that's malleable and it's, it's a lot more detailed. Seems to be thicker at the handle here and it looks to be sort of weaved with a nice fine weave all the way through sort of plaited all the way through with some pleather of some kind but she also comes with a second whip and it's a fully wired whip which she was just holding just a second ago you saw her holding this stays in the shape you move it to and it's a super nice touch again what a great idea i really wish ac play had stepped up and been able to do that and then of course she comes with a really nice little accessory which is the taser from the movie that Catwoman uses. I think she uses like, has it twice in the movie. And what's really great is the fact that she can attach it onto the boot. Boom. It's no competition, is it really? I really like the hands on the AC play figure. They all come with wrist pegs in and it's fairly good. But unfortunately it loses out on the fact that they didn't paint the fingertips silver, which is a shame. I think because of the taser, because of the two whips, and because of the uh, detail that they've painted in the hands, Super Mad Toys wins again. I'm really surprised by that, honestly, because when I put them side by side, I was like, oh, AC Play's definitely going to win this. But AC Play, they've fallen down on a few details, apart from the head sculpt, and maybe the idea of having the uh, pleather attached to the gloves. Sort of, they lose out. They lost out on the boots. They lose out on the details on the suit. They've also lost out on the accessories now. God damn it. Even though Super Mad Toy sort of smashes everything with a few details here and there, that head sculpt really lets it down. And that cheap ass body they've used has let it down quite a lot. Okay guys, let's look back and see who won what category. Head sculpt, AC play, by a mile, easily wins it. The suit. In terms of the actual stitching of the suit, AC play wins. But for the actual details in the suit, like the mismatched stitching that's movie accurate, Super Mad wins. In terms of hands, I think Super Mad's won. But just, just about. Just because they could be bothered to paint the fingertips. If AC Play had painted the fingertips, they may have won in that category. But they didn't. So I think they just lose out in terms of, you know, details. I think Super Mad Toys has won the corset, but I do like the slight paint variations in the AC play. In terms of body, Super Mad Toys 
body is tripe. As per the screen face figure, it's just a cheap body. Now, I bought one of those cheap bodies. I know where you get them from. I bought one before, and I was going to use it on my Black Widow because I thought it might be better. But it wasn't, it was rubbish. And it has this sort of rubberized torso and makes articulation very difficult in the midsection. And it makes articulation around the neck very difficult. And yeah, AC play wins easily. The joints are firm, the body shape is perfect. I, yeah, they win easily. And in terms of boots, Super Mad Toys wins by a mile. In all honesty, guys, they both have their pros and their cons. It's literally a 50 50 split, I think. Yeah, because AC Play wins the head sculpt and the real stitching on the suit. Superman Toy loses on the head sculpt, but wins on the movie accurate stitching on the suit. AC Play wins with the body, Super Mad wins with the boots and hands. In terms of accessories, Super Mad, I think Super Mad's won. Oh God, Super Mad's won this just because I put them both next to each other. And now that I see them both next to each other, Super Mad has won, but I tell you what, if I can get away with it, I'm taking all those parts off of that Super Mad figure and I'm putting them on the AC Play because I, I just prefer the body of the AC Play, prefer the head sculpt. I really like the hands. In fact, if I can get away with using the Super Mad hands, I will. And that she's definitely getting the uh, wired whip and the normal whip and the taser. So, okay, guys, hope you enjoyed the comparison. It was a nice, simple video, just showing the two side by side and seeing which one wins. Pros and cons of both. If you are on the fence about one rather than the other, hopefully you know now which one you're going to go for. I'm going to take all the bits I want off of the Super Mad figure and put it onto the AC Play. And that's what I would recommend you guys do, but if you can get one. If you can get both, then do that. If you had to get one, oh god, I don't, I don't think either is... Mm. I'd still go with the AC Play, I think. Yeah, I don't know why. I just don't like that head sculpt. It doesn't work with Super Mad Toys Catwoman. She just looks like one of the old knockoffs they used to get from a few years ago. I did a video, if you want to go back onto my channel, I compared all the different cat women from Batman Returns that you can get. And I think I mentioned these two, but I also mentioned some older ones, including the uh, Kumik one. So if you really want to go back and have a look, go check that video out, because I do mention quite a few different versions of her. I would definitely, between these two, I'm taking all the Super Mad, putting on AC Play. Right, the decision's made, guys. It's done. It's finished. I am done, this is done, the whole thing is over. Hope you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. If you could do me a favour, if you could get the fuck out of my cave so I can actually take this figure apart and do it, I'd appreciate it. Thanks a lot guys, bye bye.